Hello and welcome back to another on-demand edition of Maddie's Rap with author and storyteller Matt D. Talford. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and give yourself a round of applause, baby. Give yourself a round of applause because let me tell you something. Y'all are the reason why I keep coming back. Y'all are the reason why I keep coming back. Y'all make this experience so rich for me. So rich. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, listen, real quick before we get started on tonight's interesting video, okay? And it's or tonight or today or whatever time it is where you are, okay? Whatever time you're watching this video. Before we get started on this, um, I just want to say I'm I'm thrilled to be able to give you guys an on-demand video because it's been live, 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 live for the last few weeks. And um, I'm just happy to be back here in the studio pre-recording for you guys because you get to have a little bit more fun. And not that the lives aren't fun. The lives are fantastic. They're phenomenal. I would not trade them for the world. But there's just some different things that you can do with the screen when you're doing it on demand. So uh, I'm thrilled to be back in here on today's short video. And when I say short, yeah, it's going to be short today, okay? I can get away with saying short today because today we're going to be taking a look at something I have never, ever seen in any video I've done or any video I've ever seen by any content creator on YouTube. And I've watched a lot of them, y'all. I have watched a lot of them, okay? So... What are we talking about today? You know, there's this thing where, you know, a lot of people in the spiritual community have been saying this for a while. They've been saying the veil between the spirit realm and the physical realm is getting thinner. And I even heard some people in different aspects of the spiritual community say that with this past solar eclipse that we had on April the 8th in the sign of Aries across the United States, that it was pretty much going to tear the veil and like the spirit realm was going to be completely merged with the natural realm. And, you know, I got to say this, y'all, you hear things like that. And me as someone who considers myself to be spiritual, I don't I don't you'll never hear me call myself religious anymore because I know what religion is and all praises to the most high that I've broken free from those chains of bondage. They're powerful. They are powerful there. They they the, the thing that powers the and this is just a real quick aside. But the thing that I found that powers the religion, if you will, or what I call the chains of bondage is fear. They are rooted and grounded in fear. Do this or you're going to hell. Um, if you don't give your life to Christ, then you're not going to spend eternity in heaven. I'm going to say this again, y'all, especially for the people in the back of the room. So pay attention. We are already living in eternity. We're already living in eternity. We're having a, a physical reality of an eternal existence. All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's get back on to the subject matter. Is the realm between the physical world and the spiritual world world done? Is it torn away? I would have said no until I saw what I'm about to show you guys right now. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a regular speed clip of just a segment of my last live video and and shout out to those of you who saw that video i promise you did not see this during the video maybe some of you did i didn't see it until i went back and watched the replay and i was lying in bed watching it on my phone and i was like whoa i paused it i was like did i just see what i thought i saw so now i gotta tell y'all wifey and y'all know i don't like to say wifey and stuff like that too much on here because i mean when you say stuff like that it it has people people feel like they got liberty to interject and be like hey your white look i don't i don't get into that y'all don't 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 y'all <laughs> real quick about me that's why i didn't when i was dating in high school that's one reason why i didn't date people that i went to the same high school with because i ain't want people all up in my business oh i saw you and your girlfriend no no i don't i don't like to talk about family much okay especially but like anyway but for this video for the sake of this video I'm going to tell y'all, I ran it past my eagle eye. She don't miss anything, okay? I ran it past my eagle eye. And I'm like, did I see what I thought I just saw? I put it up on the big screen. She was like, oh, bleep. <laughs> so, look, y'all, I'm about to show it to y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all any longer. The interesting thing 
about where this appearance, some call an apparition, came into view. And I believe it wanted to be seen on the camera so that I could show this to you guys. Okay. The interesting thing about when it comes in is that it comes in during the segment where I'm talking about the transitioned prophet Samuel speaking to Saul through a medium blew my mind that this showed up. It had me questioning. Was that an angel? Was it a spirit guide or was it an ancestor? Or was there an outside chance that perhaps did Samuel come through? <laughs> y'all, let me stop holding you. Let me show y'all this segment. All right. Stand by. And I'm going to be doing voiceover on it. OK, these so artifacts hold energy. They hold power, y'all. How many of y'all have, have watched these old shows like Indiana Jones and stuff where people go into these different ancient temples and they're messing with, the, with stuff and then things happen? You, if you ain't the seed of those originators, you ain't supposed to be touching that stuff. If it's sacred, you ain't supposed to be touching that stuff. When you do, you, you start upsetting some ancient energies. They're like, wait a minute, you disturbing my sleep? All right, family, here's the part. Pay close attention. Y'all saw what happened in the scripture when, when Saul was scared, he knew he messed up. And he went to the uh, conjurer and got them to conjure up the spirit of Samuel. Samuel, I need your help. Samuel, like, man, I was resting. Why you bothered me? Well, since you bothered me, uh, I need to let you know you're going to die tomorrow. I, 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 was, uh, I was in this celestial pool hall about to drop the eight ball, and you messed with me, man. Now this dude don't want the pool game. Don't bother me no more. So as you could see, I <laughs> there was something that appeared to be like smoke that came from the area of my right shoulder, which is on the left side of me if you're looking at the screen. It went down at an angle. It crossed in front of the little bulb that you see um, just above the letter M in my name. And then uh, about a second or so later, it went up. It like went back up to the right and then vanished. So um, I'm gonna play it one more time for you real speed or normal speed. And then I'm going to show you a zoomed in segment that I uh, filmed of the television screen and slow it all the way down. OK. Y'all saw what happened in the scripture when, when Saul was scared, he knew he messed up and he went to the uh, conjurer and got them to conjure up the spirit of Samuel. Samuel, I need your help. Samuel, like, man, I was resting. Why you bother me? Well, since you bother me, uh, I need to let you know you're going to die tomorrow. All right. You done? I'm going back to sleep now. I, 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 I was uh, I was in this celestial pool hall about to drop the eight ball and you mess with me, man. Now this dude don't want the pool game. Don't bother me no more. <laughs> okay, so I have the audio slowed down here and um, I can't hear it. So I just have to watch it. I got it zoomed in. I got it muted because I got the audio slowed down. Otherwise, I'd sound like I was drunk. But watch it. Watch it. Wait for it. And there it went. You see it? Did you see it cross? So I'm going to play it one more time. And uh, guys, watch it. Watch it go across from right to left on the screen. And watch the, the, the color change to purple when it crosses in front of that little blue ball. Watch it. Watch it turn purple. You see the smoke? Purple right, right there. You saw it saw flash it. across. You saw it with your own eyes. I want y'all to tell me what y'all think that was that, that you just saw, Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Now, it could have been any number of things, but I'm going to tell you once again that the color purple showing up when it crossed in front of the, the blue bulb or crystal or whatever that is um, right there. I, I, didn't dec I didn't design the office, y'all, so I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> shout out to my designer. She knows who she is. All right. Shout out to the person who designed that office. Um, she knows who she is. Shout out to you. Okay. I, I didn't design that. I did not design that space. So I'm going to call it a crystal because it looks like a crystal. Um, and for those of y'all to be like, Oh, crystals, what you into the, the, the devil. Da, da, da. Y'all go watch my video about burning sage and crystals and see that that is in the scripture. Okay. So before you call me evil, understand that you probably calling one of the ancient high priests evil too. times 12 because they wore a breastplate with 12 crystals in it. Go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down and 
Don't say another word until you've done your homework and learned for yourself. All right. Now, back to my point. All right. Always got to do those for those of y'all whose minds are still closed. All right. It ain't religion. Go sit down. Yeah. I can't believe that in this day and age, y'all are still welcoming. I mean, y'all are still happily like the gate is open. The cage is open. You can walk out and you're comfortable in your jail cell of religious doctrine. Okay. Not the not not the word, not the knowledge of God, religious doctrine. Okay. Anyway, enough of y'all. Y'all, enough of y'all. Enough of y'all. You come in the comments. I'm probably I, I may I may comment back if it's respectful, or I may just delete it. All right. But anyway, back to this. So y'all know <laughs> that. Let me say this, y'all. I'm tripping. I'm not gonna cut any of this out. Okay. Sometimes I just get in a little giddy mood or whatever, and um, you know, sometimes I gotta proactively. You know, but back y'all off when y'all before y'all can come in here with them darn. Anyway, enough of y'all. So back to my point. I want to say that I believe I definitely know that whatever you want to call it, I know that it was from the spirit realm. How do you know, Matthew? Because when what appeared to be smoke crossed in front of, and there was no smoke in my office at all. Okay, there was no smoke in my home office. There was nothing burning. Okay, as you could see there was not there was no smoke prior to that segment. Y'all, you can go back and watch the video for yourself. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. For those of y'all that did not see my last live stream video, where I was basically saying Iran versus Israel, the block is hot. That was the top title of the video. Okay, for those of y'all that did not see it, you can go back there and watch it. But that being said, when what appeared to be smoke crossed in front of the blue bulb or crystal at the bottom left of the picture of the of the frame. You can slow it down. You can pause it. It it turns the color purple. Okay, what do we know that the color purple is in our energy body? The color purple mat, maps to the seventh chakra, which sits above just just above the, uh, your head. It's called the crown chakra. The the crown chakra is neither masculine nor feminine energy. It is neutral, and it is our connection to the ether. It is our connection to the spirit realm. It is our connection back to source. It is where we get our downloads. It is where our prayers go out when we pray, okay? All of that stuff runs through your energy body. I don't care if you're praying from your heart. I don't care if you're praying from your gut. The communication tower is the crown chakra. So that is the color purple. We also know that the color purple is a royal color. So that alone tells me that that was a visitation from the ether, from the etheric realms, from the an angelic realms, from the... From the, from, the, from the spirit realm, purple, the seventh chakra, the crown. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to wrap this video up right here. Y'all leave it in the comments. I want to hear from y'all. I've seen stuff like people see these um, white orbs on their videos. I've seen some of them. I've seen them when I go back and watch videos. Some people that some content creators see them on, on their videos during. They're like, oh, I saw an orb right there. I've seen them too. I've even slowed. I've, I've seen them on my own videos and slowed them down. And it literally looks like Tinkerbell. Like when I slow it down frame by frame, it looks like a tiny little, you know, almost too small to see, but it's Tinkerbell. It looks like Tinkerbell. You know, people say fairies are real. I Listen, y'all, we are learning. We're unlearning the lies. They've told us about ourselves that we're just one time, one and done beings. We're not a soul. We're a body that has a soul. And is your soul going to be spend eternity in heaven and hell and all that? Y'all, we are unlearning the lies now. The truth is coming out now that you shall know the truth and the truth shall what make you free or set you free, depending on which side of the. I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to say it. Y'all. I ain't going to say it. OK, y'all know what happens when they say they turn that machine on and all this, that and the third. All right. That four letter word to start with a C and then with an N. All right. With an E and an R in the middle. <laughs> Let me stop tripping y'all. But anyway, that whole effect that was named after a South African president that I never heard of prior to. That machine and that organization or whatever, the Haldron Collider or whatever they call it, whatever, trying to open up portals to other realms and all that, whatever they thought they were stopping during the eclipse. Like, you ain't hear nothing else about them rockets that NASA fired, did you? You hear nothing else about, oh, they turned, it, they turned the machine on and uh, found this. You ain't hear nothing else about that, did you? You cannot stop what the most High said in, pre in, in motion. It can't be stopped, okay? That's why you ain't hear nothing else about it. When you, try to, when you try to stop prophecy, 
it's like a time bomb. You speed it up. All right. It's like those movies where you cut the wrong wire when you got a uh, a um, bomb that somebody from the bomb squad is trying to defuse, and they cut the wrong wire, and the clock speeds up. That's what happens when you try to stop prophecy. You cannot stop prophecy. Whatever the most high set in motion is going to happen. And on that note, y'all, I'm going to end this video. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you like being entertained, you like, let me see, give me a thumbs up. Did it show? There it is. There it is. Yeah. If you like this video, give me one of those. Okay. All right. And if you are new to this channel and you've never seen Matt D. Talford before, but you like this and you like this type of content. I, listen, y'all, I'm kind of, my, my primary stick for those of y'all that are new is breaking down scripture and showing you that the, the Bible and the spiritual text from which it was derived are spiritual and not religious. That how it was hijacked by the religious establishment and refashioned into the doctrine of control. That's my prior, that is my primary stick. That is what I do on this channel, okay? But every now and then I like to entertain and show you guys something else or whatever. Sometimes I'll deal with current events, whatever, whatever, whatever. All right, so all of that. But the pillars of my work are entertainment, education, uplifting, and inspiring. So if you like any aspect of that, you like to be entertained, educated, uplifted, inspired, sometimes informed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure that you turn that notification bell on and to all so that you'll be notified when I upload new content. And I'll also say this, from time to time, you may need to check your subscription status because this platform I'm hearing from some of my loyal subscribers, thank y'all, I love y'all so much, they let me know that sometimes they're, they, they're unsus unsubscribed from my channel when they didn't do it, okay? So every now and then, you may need to check your subscription status, all right? So that's all, and uh, I'll end this video like I end them all. <sighs> Tell somebody you love them and mean it. How do you mean it? You have to show it. You have to show it. Love is a verb, all right? It's a noun as well. It's a state of being. It's a state of being that everybody wants to experience. But when we focus on the verb, the state of being or the noun form of love somehow always takes care of itself, all right? That's all I got for you, family. Have a blessed night, day, afternoon, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Peace, family.